two big developments are taking place in Lesotho right now. The first development is political and it has to do with the breakdown or the near collapse of the coalition government. Uh, that has been the, a development evolving in the past couple of months that also saw the Prime Minister Tom Tobani suspend parliament in July. The second issue is security related in the sense that there is a breakdown in the relationship between the Prime Minister who also is uh, the Commander-in-Chief of the security apparatus of the country and the Commander of the Lesotho Defence Force, Kamudi Tladi. In effect, what precipitated uh, the developments of last week was a decision by the Prime Minister to fire uh, the Lesotho Defence Force Commander, um, Kamudi, and this decision was not uh, respected or accepted by the Commander. What happened in Lesotho last week when the LDF Commander, Kamudi Tladi, ransacked the offices of the police and his headquarters and threatened to intimidate the Prime Minister were less actions of a coup but actions of anarchy and actions of treason. It is that, that in, in, in that context that the Prime Minister then fled the capital Maseru to Pretoria and uh, sought the intervention of South Africa as its direct neighbor to re-establish the security situation there and to provide personal security for him. It, it is also because of that that the, the South African government, in its capacity as the SADC organ chair, which is the SADC uh, security structure, uh, decided to enhance its mediation in Lesotho. Indeed, there was a SADC emergency meeting yesterday in Pretoria that was presided over by the SADC organ chair, President of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, along with the uh, partners of the coalition government that is now near collapse, that would be the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Sports, along with the Executive Secretary of SADC and the ministers from uh, the SADC um, organ um, members to try to really facilitate a political dialogue between the Lesotho partners and try to understand what is possible in terms of a SADC intervention. The outcomes of that meeting, the emergency meeting yesterday, are threefold. The first is that there is a decision by the SADC um, organ, South Africa, to field a facilitator uh, to a peace, some kind of a peace dialogue in Lesotho, um, to try to be the main uh, oversight uh, um, individual presiding over the political dialogue there. The second outcome was that the SADC organ will also appoint a team of observers in Lesotho. Uh, that will obviously again add to the oversight role of the SADC um, secretariat in understanding how the, 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 the Lesotho political negotiations are unfolding and to advise accordingly and timelessly on what the next steps uh, uh, SADC should be taking. And then the third outcome, which is very, very significant in my view, is that the, there is a road map to um, addressing the political uh, challenges within the coalition uh, and also addressing the issue of the suspension of parliament in that there would be an agreement um, that parliament is, 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 is opened in due course and that there is a timeline to um, that process.